it was a big one. Hey everyone, so today, as you can see from the title, I am doing another PR unboxing, like huge haul. This is mostly PR. I think there might be a few things I bought myself, but most of it's just stuff sent. Yeah, we're gonna see what's inside. I have been traveling for the last couple of weeks, so there is a lot of stuff here, and you guys have been requesting this. I kind of took a break. I know I was doing them very, very like consistently for a while there, but I took a break because some people said they were like over them, some people said they didn't like them, but then like once I stopped, there was so many request for more so if you do like this kind of video I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you don't like this kind of video obviously there'll be more videos coming which hopefully you will like better so I'm just gonna dive straight in because if you see me looking up here it's because my computer's up there and I can like see myself you can see all of this stuff behind me we're gonna open it today so in the first box here we have some stock ups from Too Faced so that was so nice of them they sent me a new hangover face primer I'm getting really tongue-tied right now blah, blah. This is what it looks like. I love this face primer. It's one of my all-time favorites. And I did say I was running out of my last one. I actually think I already repurchased it myself. But it's always good to have another one. Because I go through this stuff. Well, not like super quick. Because I've got so many primers. But I love it so much. So having a backup is always handy. And then they sent another of the Hangover 3-in-1 setting sprays. Which is awesome. I do like this. I'm not like completely sold on the spray bottle though. Sometimes it's quite clumpy. But I do like the formula. And the smell is so good. Next up is some more backups. Journey Hair Care sent me a couple more of their hydration masks. I really, really, really like this. I do use it quite consistently, so that's exciting because I think I've only got about maybe like a total of one bottle left because I did have four or five or something like that. Uh, I've been traveling with them and stuff, so I've kind of like part used a few of them as well. These will definitely come in handy. I really like this stuff. I did do a video all about it if you want to like click in the down bar I'll link it down there and I showed you like a before and after using it it's just basically a really deep conditioning hair mask but I really like this one next up is something I bought off once it. it's this really really cute denim like off the shoulder crop top how cute is this fabric I'm so obsessed with it the label is Madison Square if you're interested but I think this will be so cute might take that to Fiji with me next week I'm off next week by the time you watch this video I'm either back or like I'm there still but um yeah I'm so excited Next up are some things I bought off Etsy and the shop is called Malua Paper and Planning. That's how you spell it just there. So on Etsy lately I've been buying all of these stencils and they're life changing like I'm so bad at swatching things. So I bought these stencils so they could help with my swatches and basically you just put them on your skin and then fill them in with the lip color or the eyeshadow or whatever and you get perfect perfect swatches. I'll link Etsy down below for you if you haven't heard of their website. They sell heaps of like crafted things and like handmade stuff and heaps of fun stuff so yeah. Actually I'll put a link to like makeup stencils so you can find them but I've bought so many of them so I'm stocked up for a while now. Next up is something from Ferns New Zealand. It looks like that. Ooh face mask. So this one here is a firming and hydrating face mask with bee venom and hyaluronic acid. Sounds kind of cool. I love bee venom skincare. Manuka Doctor. I really like Manuka Doctor skincare. And I love the mask, so hopefully I like this. This one here is Blood Orange Antioxidant Face Mask with bee venom and orange fruit extract to support collagen production. Oh my gosh, I might take some of these to Fiji too. Me and my mum can do one. Um, they're just sheet masks by the looks of it. So thank you so much, Ferns. Ferns? Ferns, New Zealand. And then this hair was sent to my P.O. box all the way from Tiawamutu. Chico. Is it Chico? Chico. Hi Shannon. Welcome to Chico or Chico. I don't know. Boutique for dogs. We're a new business which has only just recently launched. Our very own stunning range of dog collars and leads. Cute. So you can find them on Chico underscore boutique underscore four underscore dogs underscore New Zealand. That's it just there if you like the look of it. Oh, let's have a look. And they've made me some dog treats as well. They've put the ingredients on here which is so cute. Flour, egg, peanut butter, honey dipped in carob and coconut oil. Look how blimmin' cute those are. Oh, they smell like peanut butter, which I hate peanut butter, but I'm sure the dogs will like them. Oh my gosh, that is so super cute. Look at that. It is so stunning. Thank you so much. And then there's one more package. This must be the matching lead, which is also rose gold. Thank you so much. That's super cute. I'll have to have a look and see what else they have on the website. And then I was sent something from MYM New Zealand. Hi Shannon, happy Valentine's Day. 
Thank you. It is Valentine's Day today while I'm filming this. Filming so many videos today. I filmed this makeup tutorial, which if it's up already, I'll link it down below. Otherwise it is coming soon. Hey Shan, happy Valentine's Day. We're overwhelmed with how much you've helped MYM in the past. It really got the business off the ground. So thank you. That's really nice. We wanted to share the love this Valentine's Day. So here's a little something for you and Hamish from MYM. <laughs> It was a big one. So there's one that says Shan on it, and then one that says Hamish on it. I'm gonna open Hamish's one, but I'll like rewrap it for him to open up later by himself because he's not home right now. So I want to show you guys what's inside. So this one here, obviously, is for moi, for myself. Ooh, there go more. Ooh, what's in here? We have the Chloe Eau de Parfum. Can't uh, pronounce French to save my life but that's how it looks. And some little chocolate kisses. And then they sent me the Lancome Love, oh, Gloss in Love Under the Spotlight Sparkling Lip Glaze. And then this Guerlain Paris Creamy Shaping Lip Color. I'll open them up and see what they look like. Ooh, I think I've got one of these. I don't know what shade I have, so I won't touch it just in case it is this one. I'm sure it probably won't be because what are the odds of that, but anyway. Um, this is 325 Rouge Kiss. Oh my gosh, it's a beautiful, beautiful red. Like, super bright red. Put it in the box and I'll wait and see which one I have. Just in case I already have it, then I can do a giveaway. And then the gloss by Lancome. I love the packaging. Oh my gosh, that's such beautiful packaging. I feel like Sally would love that. Like, she would love, love, love that. She's probably already got it. And then inside Hamish's one... He got some chocolates and then he got Gucci Guilty. I'm going to be naughty and open it up. He won't mind. So I just want to smell it. I'll see if it's girlfriend approved. Ooh, I love the packaging. Look at that. I like seriously, I am such a sucker for men's cologne. Like I literally, if I go into like an airport and you go through duty free, I go straight for the men's cologne. I don't know why. I just love smelling it. Oh, that's quite nice. It's very sexy. It's quite different to anything else he has, and I think he will like it. So thank you so much. That'll be exciting to give him later. I can pretend like I bought it for him, and then he'll feel bad because he didn't give me a Valentine's Day gift. <laughs> just joking. We decided, we were like, we're not doing gifts, because we just have everything we need and everything we want. So we were like, we'll just go out for dinner. So we've got dinner tonight, and then we just buy each other birthday presents, really. We don't really, we've stopped worrying about Christmas and stuff so much. It's just, how much stuff do you need? Like, as I unbox all of this stuff, <laughs> <laughs> like seriously though like there's just so much stuff and I know for myself I can speak for myself I do not need anything else I've got everything I could ever imagine that I could ever want apart from maybe like eight more dogs and a goat and a pig wouldn't say no okay so I have this here from Pixie and it says on the inside a very special gift just for you Ooh, what is this look how cute that packaging is so extra <laughs> It's super cute. So, this is a glow. Oh, it's got my name on it. I'm such a sucker for things that have my name on it. Look, it says Shannon's Glow Tonic. And this one comes with a little squirty thing, which is so practical. I love pumps. I haven't tried it yet. They've sent me like five of these, like the small ones. I still haven't tried it. I must try it. Actually, I've got so many of them. I should give one to my friend. She said that her skin's a lot better these days. She used to break out a lot and now her skin's like completely cleared up but she's got like texture and I've heard that this is quite good for stuff like that. Like just a bit of texture. Helps to kind of like even out your skin tone and brighten and everything. I'm just using my Danish skincare chemical exfoliant right now. So I haven't gotten around to trying this. I really need to try it. I say that every time. I need to try it. Next up is something else from my P.O. box. And this was kindly sent to me from Saltwater Paws. Look how cute this little business card is. You guys sending me gifts for Louie and Zeus. That is so lovely of you. Thank you. You do not need to do that, but I'm pretty stoked. Oh my god. The note says, Hi Shannon, I'm a big fan of your channel and a long time fol follower. Hope Zeus and Louie enjoy our products. Look how cute this is. They are collies with bows. Um, yes, thank you. I feel like Zeus is going to look adorable in this. Oh my god, look at this one. I have to take this to the beach house and just leave it out at... Well, hold on. That was very premature. We are still... People have been asking me for an update with the beach house. We are still waiting on a couple of things to get checked off from the council. We have the house, but if there's like stuff wrong with it, then we can get out of the contract. 
So we are hoping and praying that there is nothing wrong with the house and it is ours. But I'll update you guys like if I get a beach house and everything. But just saying like if I get the beach house, look how cute this is. Look at the little octopus. Oh, it's so cute. Next up is some stuff from Ofra. And it is skincare. So we have Cool as a Cucumber Moisturizing Primer in one. I love the feeling of cucumber on my skin. I can't eat it. it. Makes me like really sick, but I love the feeling of cucumber on my skin. Primer and moisturizer in one. I'll have to try that in a first impression. And then this is a energizing elixir recharging facial toner. What's this one? A perfecting elixir with apple stem cells. My cellar water gentle cleansing. Is it like a cleanser? Yeah, cool. Next up, we have something from Jouer. This is the Sweetheart Longwear Lip Topper. Look how cute. It's in a little box like that. Um, and this is the color. It's like a strawberry shimmery shade. And then we have something from a shop I bought off. So I was talking about Etsy before. I went on Etsy and I actually purchased heaps of makeup because I want to do a full face of Etsy makeup, which is all just handmade from people that make makeup. I thought it'd be a really fun video to do. So in here we have a pressed powder highlighter. This is from poshpepperbeauty.com or .etsy.com. Posh Pepper Beauty. And they gave me a freebie as well, which was really nice of them. So I think this is the freebie, Phoenix Posh Pepper Beauty. Oh, that's so pretty. So it's like an eyeshadow or highlighter. Let's swatch it. I kind of shouldn't swatch it because I should let them be first impressions in the, you know, video when I try everything out, but that's really pretty. And then we have Juicy Peach. I won't swatch this one. Oh my god, that's so nice. So yeah, it's all handmade stuff, which is so cool. That is the label on the back, so... Yeah, keep an eye out for that video. I'll try to film it in the next couple of weeks. I'm away in Fiji next week. But yeah, when I get back, I definitely want to film that. Okay, next up we have the ever controversial, for a good reason, um, Tarte Shape Tape Foundation. Hydrating Foundation, Shape Tape Matte Foundation. So there must be both in here. Size fits all. Foundation isn't one size fits all. That's why we made two. Kind of ironic so i asked people if they wanted to see a first impression on this foundation and it was very split like there were like 50 percent people that were like if they send it to you yeah why not then there were 50 percent that were just like nah like not even interested just because of the way they dealt the situation i don't even know how they dealt with the situation but clearly it wasn't well because um people are not happy about it fair enough i'm not going to tell people how to react or how to feel about it i think that it sucks that the shade range they bought out first was so small they could have at least done like, you know, only a few shades, but kind of done like a couple light, a couple medium and a couple dark rather than like all light. You know what I mean? Like if they were always intending on expanding the shade range, uh, I don't know. Like, I just feel like for a big, huge company, they should be able to do heaps of shades straight away. They've got millions of dollars to spend on it. Not like a small indie company. They're a huge company. They've got plenty, plenty of cash. And saying that, I've heard mixed reviews on the actual foundation. Some of my friends really like it. Some people on YouTube don't like it. I don't know. Let me know down below. We'll make a final decision if you want to see a first impression or not. So yeah, there's a few different colors there. They sent some more shape tape, the sponge, which actually looks really cool, and then this brush down here. So let me know if you want a first impression. Otherwise, I can always just try it in my own time and let you guys know what I think of it within another video or something like that. Totally up to you guys. Or I could do a chit chat, get rid of me, full face first impressions featuring one of these. I have no idea if they've bought out more shades yet or not yet. I don't really know how it's working. I, to be honest, haven't even looked into it. I've just heard all the drama on um, Twitter. So <laughs> Next up, we have something here from Confidential. Looks like it's from The Balm. Oh, okay. I think it's meant to be like a joke. And the winner is Shannon Harris because it looks like they've got a new bronzer. Take home the bronze. Let's have a look. Oh my gosh, there's so many colors. Seriously, there's like how many? Six of them? Look at them all. So I already know I'm obviously going to want one of the lighter ones. Let's try to figure it out because they don't actually have like light to dark names. They've got different names. These ones look the lightest, I'd say. So we've got Oscar, which looks like that. And it is just, it looks matte, I think. I might have to look at these off camera and decide which one I want to keep because I don't need all of them. This one here is called Tony. That one's definitely darker and warmer. Oh wait, that one's Oscar as well. Okay, jokes, they've sent me two of each. There's only three. <laughs> and then the final one here is called Graham. Graham's super dark. Reminds me of, um, you guys know, the balm bronzer. And then they sent me some Mary Lou. 
they sent me the scuba water resistant mascara so i'll give both of those away because i don't like water resistant mascara personally very much and i've already got one of these naturally it's one of the best highlighters ever and then i'm going to keep this one schwing i love schwing and then there is a meet matt hughes in devoted and your liquid lipstick so save heaps of that stuff for a giveaway and then we have another gift here for me i'm just such a mess right now my hair is all over ow i just smacked my chin my hair is all over the place this is a gift for me and hamish from valentino perfumes so thank you so much i'm a huge fan of valentino perfumes um i've bought quite a few in the past with my own cents and dollars i love is it just called pink valentino the one in the circle i don't know Anyway, this is Valentino Donna Aqua. The packaging is so, so beautiful. I love the gold and I love the pink if it wants to focus. Thank you very much. And it's like a canvas kind of feeling box. I know it doesn't even matter, but I just thought I'd mention it. And then the bottle is so pretty. It is this kind of like, not spiked, but you know, the glass design with Valentino on it. And then it's got a little protector. So that's what it looks like with the gold. That's good, wow. I'm gonna put some on. This can be my Valentine's Day perfume. It's so good. What does it smell like? Lightness and indulgence composed by Sonia Constant Valentino Donna Aqua is a collision between tender green almond and frosted pear. The warmth of frangipani rose accord meets a suggestion of sandalwood. I don't know what I can smell, but I mean, it's good. That's all I know. Definitely go check that out. Wow, I'm a big fan. I've never actually smelt that one before. I don't know if it's new or what, but... And then I don't know how to pronounce this. Valentino Uomo or something. Once again, I'm going to open it. Hamish won't mind. You should have seen how cute he was the other day. We were in the Maldives and he took with him his Hugo Boss cologne. He's had it for ages. And he like shouts at me from the bathroom. And he was like, Shannon, I finished my cologne. <laughs> it's like, he was so happy. And I totally get what he means. Like, it's like when I finish a foundation or something, I'm like, oh my God but also kind of sad but it's like such a satisfying feeling so it's a good time for a new one although he actually has like freaking 15 i i honestly think he's got as many clones as i do perfumes i'm not even joking he's got a lot the box again is really beautiful obviously more manly with the khaki color and it looks like my one except a little bit different obviously and the liquid's more of a yellow color that oh my god these are so that smells amazing i'm forcing him to wear that later that smells like fresh out of the shower but men like it smells like man but in saying that i would almost want to wear this because that's how good it, it smells clean i might have to borrow that sometime honestly when i say like a scent is like men's or women's or like when a shop says it or whoever says it like who even cares like just wear whatever scent you like because seriously that's good. Hi Shannon, here is a new product from Vanity Planet. Let me know if you like it. Vanity Planet Forever Young Hot and Cold Rejuvenating Facial Wand. This is the kind of stuff I always buy and it's like one of those things that I always forget to use so I need to like make an effort to actually try it. What is it supposed to do? Boosts absorption so you can soak in all the goodness. Uses hot and cold settings along with vibrations to make the most of your skincare routine. The hot mode helps open up your pores to boost absorption. And then the cool mode helps to shrink your pores. This could be really handy to do before like face masks and stuff to like open up my pores and stuff. I'm going to have to give it a go. I need to commit and just like try to make sure I remember to use it. <laughs> I think I've got some of that cologne in my mouth. Oh, this one's so pretty. This one and the first one are definitely my favorites. So thank you so much, Natasha Denona, for sending that over. I'm so excited. It's like my quote of the day, as always. I'm so excited. I love it. Oh my God. Okay, next up we have some stuff from Lush. This is, which collection is it? Don't even know. Oh, Valentine's Day. So it's got some new stuff. I'm not sure when it sells out. It just says it's available from the 1st of January. So I'm sure you guys will still be able to go head into Lush and pick some up or go online. That's how I always buy my Lush stuff. I just go online. <laughs> it's so much less overwhelming. I feel like Lush is one of those shops I love. I love their stuff. But I walk in there and I just get like overwhelmed because there's so many things everywhere. So I really like their online website to be honest. What is this? Kiss me quick. Get all in a lather with these mimosa and clove bud scented lips to add a bit of spice to shower time. What the heck? <laughs> what is it? I've never seen that before. Is it just like a soap? 
Honestly, I don't even know. Wash card. Yeah, it must just be like a soap in like a little single use or something. That is so unique. I've never heard of it. They cost $4 each. So weird. <laughs> oh, we've got a little loose item in here. Oh, that smells good. This is the unicorn horn. It's $10.50. It's vegan. Um, and it is just a bubble bath. There you go. Bubble bath. That's my friend. Got so many bubble bars from the last collection, the Halloween one, I think it was. And I don't have bars as often anymore. I still have them sometimes, like when I feel like using Lush stuff, because I love Lush stuff. But other than that, I use the spa outside instead. Oh my god, giant bombshell! Like a giant bath bomb. This is huge. Yeah, it is. It's a giant bath bomb. It's vegan. It's and it's twenty seven fifty. I assume you can like use some of it and then you know, don't use it all at once because like this thing is huge. <laughs> wow. And then we have this cherry-ish moisturizing cocoa butter. Mine doesn't look as cute as the picture. It's like Instagram versus real life. But this is the cherry-ish body scrub. That actually smells really good. I usually hate cherry, although I usually hate um like fake cherry. I really love like proper cherries, like fresh, like Christmas time cherries. I hate lip gloss cherry, you know? This smells good. We have a massage. I think this is like a massage bar, like a body butter bar. Looks like this. And then we have soap, I think. I'm assuming this is soap. Oh, it smells so good. This is Honey Love Love. I thought that was it, but there's more. Um, we have, oh, I haven't even tried my one from last time they sent me. These are like body wash. I think it's the body wash, but it's like in a solid form. So no bottle, which is so cool. So good for the environment. Tender is the heart, Jasmine. And then this, this is a bath bomb situation, I think. I can't even smell that one. I think my senses are overloaded. We need to move on. Okay, next up, we have a whole lot of stuff from Bare Minerals, which I'm so excited about. You guys know I love Bare Minerals. I've talked a lot, a, a lot about, no, what am I trying to say? We've talked about this stuff a lot in my videos. So this is the Nude Powder Blush and Nude Patent Lip Lacquers. Ooh. Sounds like something I would like. Beautiful packaging. I don't know what I'm going to do with it once I <laughs> unbox it. It's like hard plastic, but it looks really cool. So here are all of the blushes. I'll swatch one of them for you. They look like really nice colors. Definitely colors that are like up my alley. Very natural looking colors. Very like muted. I'm going to swatch the shade on the morph. Looks like a beautiful shade for either medium to deeper skin tones. Or I like to wear colors like this um, in like autumn and fall. Just a little amount. Oh, it's like super sheer. Okay. Buildable. Like very easily buildable. You guys know I like products like this. I know some of you instantly will look at that and be like, oh, I don't want that. That's not pigmented enough. For me, blush, I like buildable. That's just my personal preference because then you don't go crazy. I feel like as soon as you put too much blush on, it just kills your makeup. So I love buildable. So yeah, that's called On The Morph. I'm really looking forward to trying them. The powder feels like butter. Like it feels so smooth. And then these all kind of fell out, but that's what they look like. They're just lip lacquers. So like a liquid lipstick that is a cream finish. So this one here is in the shade Squad. It looks quite sticky. Oh, it feels really sticky on my like hand hairs like you know when you apply and it's like it feels very very full on. I'm not sure if I'll like those because I don't like anything too heavy on my lips like that and it feels so sticky not sure about that the blushes I'm very excited about I might save these for a giveaway or donate them or something instead next up I got some stuff from maybe glam by manicure it's from a PR company I know you have your own gorgeous range of brushes and lashes but know you love to try out what's new all of all new cosmetic brush range by Glam plus new mink effect lashes. So these are going into farmers this month. Oh my gosh, look at this cute bag. Oh, so use that. We have some lashes. So these are mink effect lashes, but they're like not what I would expect for mink lashes. They're like just very natural lashes, but they're very, very soft and fluffy looking. So that's how they look. If you love a natural, natural lash, those will be definitely up your alley. They do say natural at the top though. And then, oh my god, look at this fan brush. It looks epic, it's huge. And then we have an all over powder brush. These are like a matte black and matte rose gold handle. And then just heaps of brushes. Um, they look really nice. I'm not quite sure how much everything is, but yeah, you can go check them out in Farmers. And then this one is a Kabuki cream contour brush. Exciting. I just like am actually quite stoked about the bag though, to be honest. It's so cool. I'm like a cat. Like, give your cat a toy out of a box and it uses the box. That's me with the bag. <laughs> we have something here from 
Gillian. Is that how you pronounce this brand? It's like a chocolate brand. They sent me some chocolates. Look how nice those look. Thank you so much. I'm gonna have to save those and share them with my friends. We have something from another PR company right here. Oh my gosh. Look how cute this is. It's got Hamish's name on it. Oh. <laughs> and then from the balm, some more stuff from the balm. We've got the Mr. Right Now eyeliner pencil in bronze and Wayne B. Or Orange? Wayne B. Olive. I love these eye pencils. I actually do. Um, I've been wearing the nude one quite a lot lately. So yeah, they're just little automatic um, eye pencils. So I'll definitely try those out. I really love olive green um, eyeliners. So it's exciting. And then I have something here from Glitter Gypsy, which is so exciting. I do actually want to do some like festival inspired makeup looks coming up because I'm going to Tomorrowland. I'm so excited. Um, so if any of you guys see me there, definitely say hi. So yeah, I definitely want to do some festival inspired looks before then. Um, and like when's Coachella? Can you guys let me know when Coachella is? Because I could do one before Coachella for those of you who want to get some inspiration. I'm just going to show you a few of these. Oh my gosh. So they're like, um, not really for your eyes, but for like your face and body. Look how cool. These are super cool as well. Oh my gosh. I'm saving some of these for Tomorrowland and then I'll use some in a tutorial. Oh my God. Look at that one. So cool. So you can get these off glittergypsy.co.nz and their Instagram is just at glittergypsynz. Okay. I have to show you two of these cause they're my, oh, actually three of these, these three. So cool. Next up is something I bought from Farmers and it's just some eyebrow and eyelash dye. This is the brand I use on my eyebrows and eyelashes when I just do it at home. 1000 hours, so it gives them a lot. And then we have some stuff. I think I bought this off Etsy. I bought it from the Bloomery Cosmetics. If you go on Etsy and just Google um, the Bloomery, if it wants a bug, come on. And it's so nice. She recognized my name, obviously, and she wrote me a huge letter and was just like, it's just the nicest letter. I sat here and read it before off camera. So lovely. So I'm really excited to have a look in here. She sent this as a gift. I just want to unwrap it and then I'll show you. Look how cool this is. So it comes like this. It's so vintage. I've got sticky tape on me. And then you open it up and it's a rose with like a shimmery, I guess, highlighter on it. I don't really know. But like, look at that. So pretty on your body, like on your shoulders and collarbones and stuff. So cute. Thank you so much. I'll have to try that in the video. And then we have this galaxy dust and we have this coral nectar. I can't even remember what everything is because I ordered it so long ago. Look how cute the packaging is. It might just be like blush or something maybe. I'm not too sure. I'll have to check my Etsy order but obviously when I do the video I'll update you and list everything in the down bar of that video. So like I said keep an eye out for that. I'm so excited. And then here we have something from Jouer blush bouquet oh my gosh cute packaging look at that i love the rose on the actual packaging so i'll just show you one of them this one here is the coquette blush duo seduce me and tease me oh my gosh so pretty these ones are more pigmented than those other ones a little bit powdery but i don't mind that with face products because once i use setting spray so there's three different ones. I'll show you the other ones really quickly. So this one is the Flirt Blush Duo. It's more coral tones. And then this one is the Adore, which are more like nudes. I love the packaging. Love. Okay, so this stuff here is from another Etsy store. You guys are going to love this. It's, um, I think this one's the Stranger Things inspired one. The shop had like, I think, Harry Potter ones, Stranger Things, like all sorts. Yeah, this is definitely Stranger Things themed. So once again, it's like a little handmade palette. So that's what I'll be using in my Etsy um, full face tutorial. I thought the colors were quite cool and unique. So I have no idea what kind of look I'll do. Let me know which colors you think I should use when I do the video. Um, those are the names there. If you want to use the proper names, I would love for you guys to help me pick like a color combination. And then this is a perfume, Floral Opulence organic and vegan perfume hold on there is a note because i'm like i don't recognize buying that what does it say i believe this is the shop 
Shannon, thank you so much for your purchase. Your support means the world to me. I can't thank you enough. As a token of my appreciation, I've included some free goodies with your order. Thank you so much. They've added another Stay Frosty highlighter, vegan perfume, face and body scrub. Everything is natural, vegan, organic, and cruelty free. That's so nice of you. Thank you so much for the extras. This is the Stay Frosty Stranger Things highlighter. Like a white color. And then I'm very excited about the scrubs. So this one is brown sugar and vanilla face and body scrub, which I love, love, love the sound of. It's so crazy how most of the shots I purchased off, like watch my videos. Like obviously I didn't do that on purpose. I wouldn't know, you know, I wouldn't know. It's pretty cool. Like it's such a cool coincidence. Um, and then the coconut, chamomile and calendula body cream. I'm so excited. Thank you so much. This hair is from Tarte. I think it was from Christmas. It's a while ago. I don't know if it was delayed shipping to me, like if it got caught up in the couriers or what happened. <laughs> it's a Grinch one. Oh no, it's a mermaid. Just kidding. I thought it was a Grinch one. And inside, oh, I have seen this on, I can't remember where I saw it. I saw it on Facebook or something on their Facebook page. It's a foil finger paint palette. Packaging is super cool. Look at that packaging. So unique. And then on the inside, it looks like this. I'll swatch one. They looked really cool. Oh, mine's a bit crumbly, but look at that pigment. Next up is a pinata from Too Faced. You guys would have seen everyone doing this already, like, you know, on Facebook and Instagram and stuff. That's the thing with some of these things. Obviously, it's not the company's fault because I live in New Zealand, but half the time I see some of these PR packages on like Instagram stories and stuff before I even get mine. So I completely ruin it for myself, but that's fine. I'm just gonna like show you what's inside. We have a rainbow strobing brush, which is so cute. Look at that. Oh God, confetti is going all over my floor from inside that pinata. We've also got the festival refresh, mystical effects setting and refreshing spray. Oh my God. It looks like it's got like glitter inside it or something. Look at that. Can you see it floating around? That's super cool. Definitely trying that out. And then the life's a festival eyeshadow palette. The packaging's really cool. And then these are the colors. They're actually decent. I was scared when I was about to open this. I haven't actually looked at the products, by the way. I just saw the pinata. Um, I was scared when I opened it, it would just be like all of these really light iridescent colors, but they're actually like proper colors I could use in a look. So I'm excited. I really, really like all of those like, wait, cool tones over here. Honestly, maybe I should do a festival look sooner rather than later because I've got so much fun stuff for a festival look. Oh my gosh, mermaid tears lipstick look at this it's like iridescent so out of it oh there's two they seem two of everything maybe yeah they did so i can save some for a giveaway of course for you guys and then we've got unicorn tears wow transforming lip topper look at that i'm like saving them for you guys like i'm not saving them for you guys i'm saving them for a first impression for you guys so i can try them on my face oh wait hold on they didn't see me two of each One's the lipstick and then one's the lip topper. So there's like the same color, but yeah, one's the lipstick, one's the lip gloss. We have a iridescent mystical bronzer, which sounds epic. Oh my God, the packaging is so cute. I thought it was gonna be a lot tackier than it is. Like that sounds really savage, but you know, just being um, a unicorn packaging, but it's actually like nice quality. It's like metally kind of feeling plastic. It's not metal, it's very, I don't know, nice. And then that's what the bronze looks like. Not sure if that's my cup of tea. It's very shimmery looking. So I might give that one away. Highlighting stick. Unicorn dreams. I'm not going to show everything because there's just too much. Oh my god, look at this. It's like a unicorn horn or a poo. Whichever one you prefer. That's so nice. Yeah, there's heaps of stuff. So I'll save some of that for a first impression or like a festival makeup tutorial or something like that. I'll try some out. One thing I want to see, they've got a rainbow highlighter, which... Kind of over that phase, but hey, that's what it looks like. Okay, next up we have something here from Wet n Wild. It says, Shannon, thank you so much for your great review of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. We are so happy you love it. We thought you may also enjoy these other Photo Focus products. Oh, so there's the, I didn't even know this was from the Photo Focus range. The setting spray, which I have tried. I'm not like that sold on it. And then there is the eyeshadow primer, which is cool. I'll definitely have to try this in like a drugstore, um, drugstore tutorial or something like that. Looks like this. And then next we have a huge package from Sephora by the looks of it. And I have a little note right here. Dear Shannon, we're so excited to share with you our newest lip collection. 
So here's the box, Lip Stories. I like that. This is a lipstick for real life, not just ring lights. This is so cool. Look at that. 40 shades, $8 each. And look at the packaging. How unique. Let me know if you guys want a lip swatch video. That could be a really cool lip swatch video. I just want to like grab a couple random ones. Naturally, I'm going straight for... Is this a pug? I think it's a pug. Little smushy faced puggy. This one is called 44 Matte and it's a black. <laughs> Look at the packaging, it's like pink on the inside. It does feel a little bit cheap, like the plastic bit. The actual outside is made out of paper, which I've got no issue with. I actually quite like that idea because you could recycle it once you um, use up the lipstick. But the actual, like, it just feels a bit like wobbly. Like, you know, the stick inside feels a bit wobbly. This one is number 50 Trippin'. It's a lilac. Okay, so they seem to kind of match the color. This one's from the Wife Up and it's called Love Love and it's a matte. Yes, look at that. I'll just swatch it on my hand. Oh, it's creamy. It's like a creamy matte. It's not a like a drying matte whatsoever. See, it's got a slight shine to it. Oh, okay, yeah. Let me know if you guys want a lip swatch video. Um, I would happily do that for you guys because those are so cool looking. I've never seen them before. Okay, next up, it looks like it's a Christmas gift because it's got like Merry Christmas written all over it. And there's a huge, huge letter right here. Such a nice letter. So thank you so much, Georgie. So she, she sent stuff before in my um, unboxing video. This is her little business card if you want to go check her out. Oh my gosh, she sent so much stuff. You did not have to do that. Thank you so much. I'll just show you guys a couple. <laughs> Look how cute those are. Christmas earrings. Damn, I'm a bit late. And some super cute little earrings, like a whole lot of different colors. Look how sparkly those are. Thank you so, so much for that nice gift. The sun is like low-key vanishing. It's only four o'clock, but the sun's like going, you know, past my bedroom right now. So hopefully the lighting stays good. So next is something from Antipodes. It looks like a new mask, which I love a good mask. So this one here is the Halo Skin Brightening Facial Mud Mask with Vivanza Vananza grape, the Vananza grape, and kiwi and peony petal. Oh my gosh, I am just so tongue tied right now. So it looks like this. I love Antipodes masks, so I am totally going to give this one a go. And then we have something from Loving Tan. My booze at Loving Tan. I love them so much. Ooh, the Valentine's Day gift. I feel so thankful. Shannon, you're the sweetest thing. Oh, so sweet. Okay. And then we have a Fawn Star package right here. I love Fawn Star jewelry. I've worn basically every single thing that Fawn Star has given me or Loving Tan, ugh, Loving Tan's given me. Um, I don't know if they have any affiliation with the brand Fawn Star. Like I actually have no idea. Um, but they do seem to give it to me for gifts, which is really lovely because it's quite pricey. This is so cute. It's got a little rose on it. I might wear that tonight for Valentine's Day dinner. And then some more of my favorites. The Loving Tan and the Bronze Shimmer, which I love, love, love. So good. We have more Wet n Wild. So in here this time, we have some brushes by the looks of it. Staples in the hand. I'm just going to show you quickly because this video is like eight years long. Look how pretty those are. They're like a rose gold and then a light gray and white bristle. So pretty. Next up, I have something from Iconic London. It's a new mascara. It looks like I actually saw someone use this on Instagram, like in a video, and it looked good. So it's a creamy, smooth formula which plumps, lengthens, and lifts. It's rich in panthenol, a derivative of vitamin B5, which helps to enhance the appearance of hair growth and boosts the beauty of natural lashes. Sounds really nice. I really like Iconic London. It's a good brand, so I'm excited to try that. Next up, we have something from Ofra. Some Valentine's Day goodies. So we have a trio set here. Me, myself, and I lip kit with three beautiful, like, deep berry reds and pinks. Feeling myself highlighter palette. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Look at that. So three different colors. This is actually really good because I don't really reach for the big ones, but this is, like, so good for travel. They're a little bit smaller. But like highlighter lasts you forever, so it's fine, you know what I mean? Some cute little lollies. Do you know I've never seen these in real life? I see them all over Instagram, but I've never ever ever seen them before. Like, I don't know, I don't think New Zealand really does them. So that's kind of exciting. <laughs> and then they sent me a Pillow Talk highlighter, which looks like a beautiful light pink. And then a Brightening Mask Dark Spot Corrector. 
cool we have a gift from urban decay it says shannon you're gonna look hot thank you <laughs> this is the naked petite heat palette which is like one of the mini naked palettes so that's what the palette looks like on the outside and on the ends oh my god look at that color there oh my god Whew, that's pretty i'm so gonna try that out next up we have something here from fasali an eye mask and a volcanic elixir made with 100% natural tamanu oil this fast absorbing beauty oil contains beneficial properties that are essential for improving the appearance of skin complexion for a healthy look matte black so classy i haven't really tried for sale actually i don't think i have tried it um they sent me some more of their oils that you see all the time on instagram but i still haven't tried them i should because you guys know how much i love a good beauty oil we have a couple mark jacobs things ordered to me by max media lab so thank you max media lab for doing that for me so first off we have these <laughs> these are the snapshot wait pink straight liquid like a crayon it's very creamy okay i see what they mean it's kind of like liquidy almost when it like goes on and then this shade here is called plum and get it so it's actually similar no it's not really similar to what i'm wearing now the color i'm wearing now is a little bit more pink should have touched up my lipstick actually i ate eggs on toast and oh it looks all right though but you know anyway how many colors does this come in 10 colors i think so there you go i've just tried them out and then we have this oh my god it's got my name on it i love this like the mascara i mean i've tried this before this is the velvet noir major volume mascara and i've shown this in my videos before i love 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 this formula it's got my name on it oh my god right next to mark jacobs <laughs> i love it and then we have da -da -da, the fenty beauty lipsticks so i'm gonna do a lip swatch video on these for sure i asked on twitter a while ago like what lipsticks to do a lip swatch video on because not many people are releasing lipsticks at the moment it's all like highlighters and skincare and setting sprays and stuff like that i feel so um lipsticks i'm all about i'll do a lip swatch video on those for you and then i have something from the balm wrapped up in this little tiny little packet it is bonnie luminizer highlighter and shadow Ooh, that'd be so nice on deeper skin tones for a highlighter. On me, it'd be a bit dark, I'm saying. I'm, I'm saying, I'm thinking. Oh, maybe if I had like a heap of, nah, I think that'd be too dark even with fake tan on. But it would be a beautiful eyeshadow for my skin tone. If you've got deep skin, check that out. If like Mary Lou is too light for you. Next up, we have the Urban Decay Kristen Leanne palette, or like not palette, collection by Urban Decay. Did I say that already? I don't even know. I've been filming for like two hours straight, guys. Like, I don't even know what's happening anymore. The box is so cool. And then on the inside, looks like, hold on, <laughs> looks like this. So I'm so excited to give it a go. Um, let me know if you guys want me to do a tutorial of any kind. She is a YouTuber and she is super, super beautiful. So... I'm so excited to try this out for myself. Pretty cool doing a collab with Urban Decay. And then the next box is one of my favorites. <laughs> Every time I see this box, I get so happy because I just love Mecca. We hope you absolutely love these Hourglass Bronzers and Skin Iceland Best Sellers. Available exclusively at Mecca Maxima. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go. Here's a little sneak peek on the inside. So you guys know how much I love my Hourglass Bronzer in Radiant Bronze Light. So are these new colors? Like, what's the deal here? There's four of them. I don't know. Look, Radiant Bronze Light. That's my favorite. And then we have Diffused Bronze Light. And we have Nude Bronze Light. And we have Luminous Bronze Light. I'm going to grab a random one and just have a look at it. Yeah, I think they're just the same. So this one here is called Diffused Bronze Light. I'll have to try them out and see if I love them as much as Radiant Bronze Light. I think that's the one I like, right? I'm getting confused now because there's so many different names. And then I have this Nordic Skin Peel. So have you, any of you ever tried this brand? And if you have, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of it. Because I haven't really experimented with it before. We have this Plumping Lip Gel. Ooh, for your lips? Is it? Yeah, well duh, lip gel. And then Hydracool Firming Eye Gels. Oh my gosh, I'm so gonna try those. 
they sound epic okay we've got like four more packages or so to go so let's get through these the first one is from Lancome oh my gosh cute so there's some really cute little notepads I might give them to my mum because she would love them and then <laughs> some macarons mine got a little bit squash but I'm sure they're still delicious we have these macaron blush and blenders which looks super cute let me know if you guys want to see me try these and then there are a mini chubby cream eyeshadow a brow styler another cream eyeshadow so i'm just going to show you what it looks like this one is in the shade milky pink it looks like this i have to say the packaging looks a little bit cheaper but ooh, that's really pigmented <laughs> So it's like a pastel pink eyeshadow base. That's quite cool. And then the eye sugar palette, which let me open this for you as well. It's like this. Again, it kind of looks quite cheap, like the packaging. It's very like tacky, but the colors do look really pretty, especially that sparkly green and that color just there at the end, the purple. So I might try that out in a video as well at some stage if I get the chance. Let me know, as always, like from this whole unboxing video, which products you would like to see in reviews or first impressions or get ready with me videos, tutorials, like whatever. Just let me know down below so I know like what to film first. And then we have a gift from Devine's, which is a hair care brand. And I've mentioned them in my empties video before, I think. I quite like their treatments and things. So it all came packaged really, really nicely. Don't mind my awkward fingers right now. They sent me this conditioner for natural and colored hair. And it says silver. Look at that. So this is for toning, obviously. I'm so going to try that. And then, oh, it smells strong. The shampoo, which would be like a purple shampoo. So thank you so much, Davines. I will try this once I run out of my current purple shampoo. And I'll update you guys in a favorites video if I love it or in an empties video. Next up we have something else from Tarte, Double Duty Beauty. It's like this, so there are some brushes and then is that some more shape tape? Yeah, shape tape, oh, shape tape eye primer. Okay, that sounds kind of exciting. And then the Shape Your Money Maker. Really beautiful and neutrals palette. That's perfect for travel. It's got some mattes, some shimmers and just really nice, easy to wear shades those second to last package here this is from clarins it is a mask serum face and neck sheet mask super restorative instant lift serum mask cool so another like sheet mask and it looks like it covers your neck as well might do a mini instagram video on that and then the final package is from la girl and it's huge it's freaking almost as tall as i am and it is a new foundation. You guys know how much I loved my last LA Girl foundation. So let me know if you want a first, oh gosh, first impression. There are quite a lot of shades. There's a couple of dark ones, some medium, a few pale ones. Shade range is okay. The darkest one isn't like super dark though. The LA Girl one I liked last time. What was it called? I did a first impression on it and it kind of looks like the packaging of the makeup forever hd foundation if you know which one i mean so yeah that's everything i hope you guys enjoyed this giant haul video thank you guys so much for tuning in thank you for watching thank you for thumbsing up if you have hint hint <laughs> and yeah i guess i'll just talk to you guys in my next video don't forget to comment and let me know what to film next okay i am going to be doing some declutterings in fact that might be coming next so stay tuned and yeah i'll talk to you guys soon bye